next we will see the progress meter 2. So the first one is count the discs and solve the given question. Okay. So we are going to count to how much is the numbers and we are going to write it down the answers. Okay. First of all let me count the disc. Okay. Here we have 10,000. Right. Here we have 10,000. How much 10,000s are they? 1, 2 and third, 3, 4, 5. They are 5 10,000s. Right. This is 1000. When there is a 4 zero, we call it as 10,000. When there is a 3 zero, we call it as 1000. Okay. So, there are 4 zeros which is known as 10,000. Sorry. Uh, yes, 4 zeros which is known as 10,000. So, how many 10,000s are there? 5 10,000 are there. So, what you are going to do is write down all the 10,000. How much 10,000? 5. 1, 2, 3, then 4 10,000, then 5th 10,000, okay. So, you are going to add all this, okay. So, you are going to add all this. So, if you add 0, 0, 0, 0, only 0, okay. So, here is 0, here is 0, here is 0, fine. If you add zeros, the answer will be 0, okay. If you add zeros with 0, 0. For example, if you add 0 plus 0, 0. Okay. 0 plus 1, 1. Okay. So, if you add 0 with a number, then you will get a number. If you add 0 with 0, the answer will be 0. Okay. So, we will see addition, subtraction in this large numbers. Okay. Then, so, if you add 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. So, what? 50,000. So, what is the answer? 50,000. Okay. So, how much uh, 10,000 are there? 50,000. Okay. 50,000. Fine. I will wrap this. This is only for your understanding. I am writing it guys. Okay. So, you can, if you know to count directly, you can write it down. Okay. Next. Next is here we have three zeros which means it is a thousand. Okay. So we have one thousand, one desk in a thousand, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. There are six desks of thousand. Okay. So what we are going to write is write six thousands. Okay. Three, four. 5 and 6. Okay, then. So, now what you are going to do? Add all this. So, as I said, if you add 0, 0. If you add this, also 0, 0. So, how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6,000. Okay. So, how many mm. thousands are there? 6,000. Okay. 6,000. Fine. Next. Next, next thing is hundreds. How many hundreds are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 hundreds are there. Okay. So, how to add it? Add 7 hundreds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, if you add all this, what is the answer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 700. Okay. So, you will get 700. Fine. So, rub all this addition and let us move on to 10. So, how many 10s are there? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, 3 10s are there. So, if you add 3 10s, what will get the answer? 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So, 30. So, you will get 30. Okay. Then, finally, how many 1's are there? 
one one okay so you have two ones one one if you add one one plus one which is two okay fine then so we have uh, added all the discs right so we have counted all the discs i'll rub all this now what we are going to do is we are done with this okay so the next step is we are going to add all these numbers fine so how to add these numbers write it as 50000 next 6000 then 700 then 30 then last is 2 so now add all this 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 0 So zero plus two. What is zero plus two? Two. Okay. If you add any number with the zero, the same number is the answer. Okay. So two. Here three. Here we have seven. Here six. Then five. Okay. So the answer is five six seven three two. So the answer is five six seven three two. I'll wrap all this. Five six seven three two. What is the answer? Five six seven three two. Okay, which means fifty six thousand seven hundred and thirty two. Right. So, what is the first question we have asked you? Write the numbers in figures. So, what is the number that we have got here? Five six seven three two. So, this is what we are going to write in the numbers of figures. Okay. So, second question is write the numbers in words. How do you write numbers in words? What is this? Fifty-six, right? Fifty. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. Fifty-six thousand. Fifty-six thousand. Seven hundred. Or is it seven hundred thirty-two? Seven hundred thirty-two. Okay, this is the answer for the numbers in words. Okay, right? Then write the place value of all digit. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. So two is in the place of ones. Tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Right. So in ones place there is no zero. So two, three place one zero. Okay. Seven two zeros. Six three zeros. Five four zeros. Fine. So this is the place value. Done. So we are done with all the three questions. Okay. So next is write the face value of the underlined. Digits. So, what is the face value of four? So, the underlined number is four. Face value of four is four. Okay. So, what I said to you in the um, before section that the number that you are getting in a question is the answer of the face value. Okay. Next, for zero, answer is zero. For two, two. They are asking only for the underlined number. They are asking only for the Underlined digit. Underlined digit is six. Sir. So you are going to write as six. For three, it is three. For four, four. Fine. Done. It's very easy, right? So it's very, very, very easy. I think so. Hmm. Face value is easy, right? Okay. Let's move on with the next exercise. Write the face value of the underlined digit. So how do you write the face value? Sorry, your uh, place value. I'm sorry, guys. Place value. How do you write the place value? So first thing that you're going to. So they are asking only for the underlined digit. They are not asking for the old digit. Okay. They have given you an underlined number. So you're going to write only for the underlined number. First of all, I'll write it over here. Just a minute. What I said you is for for ones what I said you is 
for ones no zeros right no zeros okay then tens one zero hundreds hundred two zero thousand thousand three zeros okay then ten thousand four zeros okay write it down on your note okay this is important for your place value okay important for your place value okay fine so with this we will do the exercise here so 9 9 is in the place of ones okay 9 is in the place of ones does ones have zero no so you're going to write the number as it is okay then second question 2 is in the place of ones tens Hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Two is in the place of ten thousand. How many zeros ten thousand have? How many zeros ten thousand have? Four zeros, right? So we're going to write the number and add four zeros. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then third question. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Six in the place of thousand. So three zeros. Okay. Then five is in the place of ten thousand. Then four zeros. One is in the place of hundred. So two zeros. Seven is in the place of tens. So one zero. Okay. Then seven is in the place of ten thousand. So one two three four zeros. Four is in the place of thousand. So four thousand. One is in the place of ten thousand. Okay, then zero. So what about zero? Zero is in the place of ones, tens, hundred, thousand. So do I have to write it like this? Zero. So the number, and I'm going to write four zeros. Yes. I'm sorry, three zeros. Is this the right method? No. What we are going to do is, if they ask you the place value for zero, place value of zero is zero. Okay. So if they any questions like place value of zero, or the place value of zero, place value of zero is zero. Okay. Fine. That. So this is how you do the exercise for this place value, place value. Okay.